Hi guys, what's up? This is Zach, and I'm back with a fifth uh, Project Euler video for Python. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, let's see, this is the problem. 2520 is the smallest number that can be divided by each of the numbers from 1 to 10 without any remainder. What is the smallest positive number that is evenly divisible by all the numbers from 1 to 20? So, um, so, we could just jump into the code right now, but first I would like to show you a bit of, um, logic, mathematical logic, that's going to dramatically improve the speed of our code. Okay, so, our initial number is 2,520. Okay, so, we know from the beginning that we can start at this number instead of zero or two or what have you because um because we want to be divisible by more numbers so it has to at least be this one okay so that's our first logic all right and um in order for it to be divisible by two four six and those numbers it has to be an even number so our number has to be even so let's just say um this is our start and uh it must be even, okay? All right, and then also, if a number is divisible by uh, 20, then here, here, I'll go through it like this. This is, uh, these are just a few examples, all right, 20. If a number is divisible by 20, it's also divisible by what? It's divisible by, well, 2, 4, 5, and 10. That's four numbers we have right there for just 20. 18 is divisible by, oh, and also 1. Uh, all of these numbers are 1, so we usually don't even worry about thinking about it. If it's divisible by 18, it's also divisible by 2, and then 3, 6, and 9, and of course 18 and 1, and this one is divisible by 20. But uh, you get where I'm going. Uh, if you go through the numbers 11, whoops, uh, the numbers 11 through 20, if you uh, go through those, you each of those numbers if it's divisible by all of those numbers, it's also divisible by the numbers 1 through 10. Of course, every number is divisible by 1, but, um, but you get the point. So, we don't even have to worry about these numbers. We can just scratch those off. So, the only numbers that we're going to worry about dividing by are those. Alright, and uh, since it has to be divisible by... Uh, the numbers 1 through 10. The numbers 1 through 10 gave us this. So each time we increment our number, say if it's not divisible by all of these, then uh, instead of adding 1 or adding 2 to it, we're going to add 2,520. Now this is the part that's going to extremely speed up your program. Now with all this logic in mind, Let's get into the uh, programming. Okay. First, we need to write a function to check it. So we're going to say check in. Um, all right. So we'll say for i in range 11 through 21, because uh, we go through 21 because it doesn't include 21. So it's actually going through 11 through uh, 20. Alright, so through those numbers, and if in modulus i is equal to 0, then we want to continue. So what this is saying is if uh, n is divisible evenly by the current number, the, uh, or the current iteration in that range, then go on to the next iteration. Otherwise, return false. So if it's not divisible by whatever number it's on, then return false. Just cut out of it right then. Now, if it survives the entire loop, 
then we want to say true because therefore it was evenly divisible by all the numbers. So that's our first uh, our first function. Now we're going to get into our, our main sort of function that we'll use. Uh, we're going to say x equals 2520. We'll say while I'm not check. I forgot about being able to use the not word there. While not check x Uh, let's see x plus equals 2520 so if it returns false instead of adding one or two or whatever like we said before uh, then we're going to do that now after that code gets through so once it passes through this code it's going to get hung up on the loop there but uh, once it gets past that code, then we're going to print x, because it should be our correct answer. And if we build it, like I just did, we get our answer in 0.1 seconds. Now, if you just ran a loop going through every single number, adding 1 like that, then uh, it would take uh, quite a while. I'm, I'm going to estimate about 2 minutes, maybe, for an uh, a average computer but this is our answer we can go ahead and copy that paste it let's check it 95436 and congratulations that is the correct answer I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll be able to get some more project oil uh, videos in I know the their website was recently down due to some sort of breach and um, and for a few days you couldn't actually check your answers you could only view the uh, problems so but they recently added the answers the check answer functionality back to the website which is why I made a video today so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I look forward to making another one soon and have a great day